Did you know it took more energy to make this cup of coffee than my entire commute on the Tour 2 electric scooter? Hi, I'm Carson Brown, co-founder and lead designer at Tor, and I don't even like coffee. Our first Kickstarter launch revolutionized the electric scooter game, and our innovations are now being adopted by scooter brands everywhere. It was a huge success, but it made us realize how much is still wrong with electric scooters, commuting, and, well, pretty much everything. Take traffic. Who wants to start the day in bumper-to-bumper -bumper gridlock when you can breeze by, like this guy, and get to your grind on time? That was fast. We're not big fans of bikes, either. Why not? You need eight showers after riding one, and they're a pain to handle and store. With an electric scooter, there's no sweating and no spandex. Unless you like spandex. Believe it or not, we're against Kipchoge. What did you see? Okay, hear me out. Sure, he's the world's greatest marathon runner, but he can only run one marathon at a time. Pathetic, isn't it? With even bigger batteries, Tor 2 can go 40 miles on a single charge. No kidding. And speaking of breaking a sweat, most scooters don't exactly fill you with confidence. They've got this tight road walking on a windy day vibe. And what's with the tiny wheels? Come on now. They don't belong on the road, let alone disappearing into a fully grown pothole. Our new product has tires that wouldn't look out of place on a Vespa. These chunky boys, coupled with our industry-leading foot platforms and integrated turn signals means Tour 2 is a no-brainer for safety, balance, and visibility. And as much as we hate tiny wheels, at least they're not hills. I'm sorry, but hills are just the worst. They're not beautiful, they're not majestic, they're just exhausting. But they're the reason that Tour 2 has more torque than ever. And a gearbox. That is so cool. Which brings me to our next point. We don't like people touching us. In theory, don't touch me. In theory, the idea of public transit is brilliant, but in practice, no, no, no. Is that a yes? There's the waiting, constant disruptions, and delays. But mostly, it's the touching people. Tour 2 runs on your schedule and comes with personal space built in. Now I need to get something off my chest. UK scooter laws are dumb. Finally, somebody says it besides me. Electric scooters are safe, convenient, and environmentally friendly. So naturally, they're illegal. Wait, what? All oh, right, that makes sense. In the UK, apparently you're allowed to joyride a rented electric scooter, but not one that you own. Told you it was dumb, but I've come up with a solution. If you get caught riding a tour electric scooter, we'll pay your fine. Wait, can we say that? And put you on our wall of England's most notorious outlaws. Can I just ask, why is everyone in such a hurry? Okay, where were we? And wait, where are we? You asked for a phone mount, so Tortu's got a phone mount. Use your own navigation apps or use our new app to track your stats. It's your call. And if you lose Tortu, it's got GPS so we can find it again. We call it Find My Tour. Original, right? Now on a serious note, let's talk Turkey. I don't want to go to work just to pay for the cost of going to work. Tour 2 is ridiculously cheap to run. We're talking a penny a mile. That's like going from London to Paris for the cost of your morning coffee. Or Switzerland if you push the boat out and get a croissant. You get the idea. And I've got one last bone to pick. So many businesses take your money and then poof, they're gone, not us. Even when things didn't go right during our first Kickstarter, we took it personally and stood by our customers, many of which we now call friends. And with Tour 2, we've listened to what our riders want and introduced more safety features, more range, more performance, phone integration, security, a flipping handle. Basically, we got you. So pledge today and be the first to ride one in 2024, shipping to a country near you. Tour 2. Everything made right.